Hey, it's Double Crown. Should we leave the EU? Now, you've heard David Cameron's opinion, and of course he's for staying in the EU. You've heard Boris Johnson's opinion. You've heard Ian Duncan Smith's opinion. And you should be aware of uh, Nigel Farage's opinion. So it only makes sense that you'd want to know what is Double Crown's opinion on staying in the EU or getting out of the EU? Well, Britain's membership of the EU is a bit like um, having a TV and broadband package. You like the broadband part of it. You need the broadband. You can't live without the broadband. But the TV package, the extra channels that you never watch, you don't want that, right? But it comes as a package deal. It's all or nothing. And that is kind of uh, Britain's relationship with the EU. Should we stay in or should we get out? Parts of the, uh, uh, the EU, some of the, uh, the laws are quite good, but there's quite a bit of it that we don't like. And of course, if you have a, a TV and broadband package, what happens is the, the vendor will typically try and sell you more and more. They will try and add extra channels uh, to your TV package, even though you don't need them, even though you don't watch the existing channels that you, that you are offered. They will increase the prices. Um, they will send you leaflets and information or call you by telephone. They will change the terms and conditions whenever they want. And this is typically what's happening with the EU. We've lost control and the terms and conditions are set uh, by uh, the bureaucrats in Brussels. So what do you do typically when you have a TV and broadband package and the vendor starts behaving uh, in this fashion when they start changing your agreement, um, when they start increasing prices? What do you do? You terminate your contract. You cancel your membership. And what do they do? They try and um, they put you through to the cancellations department. They say, oh, don't leave. Don't leave us. We, we, we can give you a better deal. You know, we'll do this for you and we'll do that for you. And of course, you agree. And the same thing happens again. Again, they start changing the terms and conditions, etc. And this just goes on. Um, but of course, you, sh you should never be afraid of leaving uh, your TV and broadband provider. You should never fear quitting that contract because you can always get a new contract. And what happens? The new customers get the best deals. The new customers who are the ones that, you know, they're constantly trying to attract, um, offering them incentives. So once you leave the EU, we may be able to negotiate a better deal in five years, in 10 years time, if we so wish, or we could leave permanently. And one of the things... Um, that's used is um, th think about uh, having um, broadband. You can't live without broadband. This is the fear. You know, oh, what am I going to do without broadband for, for a couple of weeks until I find a new provider? Oh, no, I can't live without broadband. What am I going to do? And this is the fear that they use. Um, similarly with the EU. You know, oh, what are we going to do without the EU? We're going to lose jobs. The pound is going to plummet. Um, we won't be able to counter terrorism. This is the fear. This is the fear. Don't give in to the fear. You must make your decision 
not based on fear. But of course the OUT campaign or UKIP will also use the fear. Now they will claim that uh, the immigrants are taking all the jobs, they're taking all our benefits, the, the schools can't cope, the hospitals can't cope, we are being overrun. Again, this is the fear. They have bought into the fear as well. Now, when you make your decision, you want to base it on rationality, not based on fear. But you'll notice how all these elections, they're always 50-50. You'll see all the business leaders coming out in support of staying in the EU. And the... These elections always end up 50-50. It's always on a knife edge. Uh, the last referendum on Scottish independence, again, that was 50-50. You couldn't call it. Which way was it going to go? We don't know. We don't know until the last minute. And uh, I just wonder, why is it always 50-50? Why can't it be a landslide to get out of the EU? Why not? Why not? Because is it being rigged, I wonder? I wonder, is it being rigged? But of course, it's very difficult to rig a landslide. So we need to make this a landslide to get out of the EU. Don't give in to the fear and don't give in to the hate. This is a rational decision. We need to get back control of the country. We need to get back control of the laws and uh, stop being ruled by uh, uh, these organizations that we don't understand, uh, like NATO and the IMF, the International Monetary Fund. And uh, uh, they're imposing rules, regulations, they're setting terms and conditions that we don't understand. And of course, the IMF in particular, with all the, uh, the, the financing and the debt um, uh, that it's created, um, keeping us in bondage, keeping us hooked to this system. Um, and we need to break away from that system. Uh, but don't give in to the fear. I mean, you know, I, I love the Polish. I love the Germans. Um, and uh, But there's an imbalance there, isn't there? Um, for example, you know, if, if we negotiated a deal with the French, perhaps, where we allowed uh, some French workers to come in and we allowed British workers to go to France. That would be a fair, a fair kind of arrangement where, you know, there's not going to be too many French coming over to Britain and there probably won't be too many British going over to France. That would be a fair arrangement. But what we see with some of these poorer countries, these East European countries, is... Uh, we don't have a fair arrangement. They might, there might be large numbers wanting to come to the UK, but there won't be so many UK citizens wanting to leave for Eastern Europe. And this is the imbalance. But if we leave the EU, we can, uh, we can make these arrangements, we can make these deals uh, on a country-by-country country basis, giving Britain greater control giving Britain uh, a better deal um, and making it fair for both countries. Um, and we don't have to negotiate with countries that uh, perhaps we don't have so many so much trade or we don't have too many dealings with them. Uh, we don't have to negotiate with those countries if, you know, if they're not nearby, if they're not close by and if you're doing no trade with them. Why? Why engage with them? So, this would be a better arrangement. Now, this is the only opportunity we are going to get to leave the EU. We've got to break the status quo. You can't vote for the same thing again just to stay in the EU, to keep the status quo. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to leave the EU. You will not get this chance again. This is why we've got to leave the EU. You've got to vote. You've got to vote to end 
the current system. How can you vote for more of the same? We know that more of the same is not working as it should be. It's time for a change. It's time to leave the EU.